NLRB ballot. Return instructions. Vote for SPFPA. The NLRB uses two types of ballots to conduct a union representation election. First, the yes or no ballot, that is used to answer the question. Do you wish to be represented for the purposes of collective bargaining by the International Union, Security Police and Fire Professionals of America SPFPA? Vote yes for SPFPA. Second, the multi-choice ballot, on this ballot find the International Union, Security Police and Fire Professionals of America SPFPA, and mark an X in that square. It's time to put the SPFPA's experience and resources to work for you and your families, vote for SPFPA. Once you have voted for SPFPA place your ballot in the blue secret envelope and seal it. Next, place the blue secret envelope into the NLRB return envelope, and seal it. On the back of the return envelope, you will see the identification stub, you must sign your name across the flap. Do not print. Any ballot received in an envelope that is not signed will be automatically void, and your vote will not be counted. After you have voted for SPFPA and signed the return envelope, mail your ballot back to the NLRB immediately, and remember, no postage is necessary. The following, is important information from the notice of election, that you need to know. Voters must sign the outside of the envelope in which the ballot is returned. Any ballot received in an envelope that is not signed will be automatically void. Those employees who believe that they are eligible to vote, and did not receive a ballot in the mail by May 23, 2022, should communicate immediately with the National Labor Relations Board, by either calling the Region 5 office at, 410-962-2822, or our national toll-free line at, 1-844-762-6572. All ballots will be counted at the Region 5 office on Monday, June 6, 2022 at 3 p.m. In order to be valid and counted, the returned ballots must be received in the Region 5 office prior to the counting of the ballots.